Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about various buttons in Jetpack Compose. So let's get started. Let me upgrade the Jetpack Compose version. Go to the main activity. First of all, clean up the unnecessary things. Put a box. The button will take a composable. Here I will put a text composable. So this is our button. Let me put the button in center. Yes, right now our button in the center. Let's have some action when the button will be clicked. Suppose I want a just a normal toast. Yes, our button is working fine. Let's see what are the available properties we can use. So here we can see the on click which is already used, modifier, enabled, interaction source, elevation, shape, border, colors, content padding and content content also we have used so let me use the enabled one
yes our button is disabled then we will use the elevation one for that let me enable this So here you can see these are the available options the default elevation, pressed elevation, disabled elevation, hover elevation and focus elevation. Let's say we will use the default elevation and pressed elevation. Let's say 8.dp and for pressed maybe 12.db let's build it Yes, so you can see when you we are pressing the button, the elevation is going increased. So let me do it 4 dB and this one 8 dB. Okay, so this way we can use the elevation property. And let me see what are the other options. Okay, let me use the shape one right now. Let use the circle shape. Yes, right now our button is circular. So here we have used just a plain text. Let me use something more interesting. Suppose we want to use a circular progress indicator. I think the circular progress indicator color and the button color are same. That's why we cannot understand where the circular progress indicator is. Let me give it a color. Suppose we want the white color, yes. Yes, right now our bat button has a circular progress indicator as well. I think the button already providing it's already providing a row scope so we have not to use another row so let me just extract the content without the row yes it's working fine so just let me withdraw the circular progress indicator let use another shape suppose cut corner shape and let 
द कॉर्नर रेडियस में भी ट्वेल्व डॉट डी पी यस नाउ वी विल यूज द बॉर्डर so you can see right now our button has a nice border as well so you can set the stroke width and stroke color as well let's see what i can use else okay now we will use the colors let's see what are the available color options so you can see the background color content color disabled background color disabled content color so we will use this two the background color and content color suppose we want the content color red and the background color may be white yes let me make it circular nice let's use the content padding okay we have used almost everything let's see what are the other available button types just change it to outlined button yes everything will be same and just you have to change the outline button yes let withdraw the color so that we can understand let withdraw the border also yes this is the outline button the other available button type is text button all parameters will be remain same i think the elevation is little bit disturbing here just with right yes 
yes this is our text button this type of buttons normally used in dialog so friends we have used the normal button outline button and text button these three buttons share the common parameters so guys we have learned how to use various buttons in jetpack compose hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching